Good morning, everyone. As I promised, we're going to try to get a video in today. Um, I have had the hardest time dealing with all of this. I actually made a video yesterday, and during the edited process, I deleted it, and I couldn't get it back. Oh, it's been a nightmare, <laughs> but I am determined to do this, and I'm not giving up. I am sorry if you hear dogs in the background barking. Um, must be a squirrel out in the yard. Okay, I want to give a little background on me. My name is Diane Strickland. I will be 62 in July. I'm the over-road truck driver. I love fashion and I love beauty. And I would like to be able to help people in this field. Um, I'm also very passionate about what I'm selling here. The brand of makeup is called Unique. And it is just the best makeup I have ever used in my entire life. They, first of all, it's, <laughs> I, I have a love on animals. I tell you, I love animals. And I don't believe in abusing them and hurting them in any form or fashion. And one of the things that made me find unique was that they have a non-cruelty policy on their products. They do not do any testing on animals, and that immediately drove me to it. And then, it, once I used it, I was just blown away on how well the products are. I have not yet used a product by Unique that I did not like. So, I want to spread this. I'm hoping I can encourage people to take a chance with it take a chance with me as being a presenter and let's get this show a rolling okay the first thing we want to do and we're going to focus on foundation by the way i've already got my eye makeup on so we're just going to work on foundation we're going to take baby steps here <laughs> little by little so the first thing you need to do is have a clean face Make sure you cleanse your face very well and it is dry. Okay, and once you get it cleansed, I would advise you to try the unique rose water. Rose water is a toner for your face. It will help close the pores and in turn put some hydration in your skin. It's absolutely awesome. And after you use this and let it dry, I would also recommend you use their Uology Eye Cream. It is amazing what it does. It will help with puffiness, and I have a lot of that, especially in the spring and fall with allergies. All it takes is just a little. You just dab it around the bottom and the corner of the eyes. I put some a little bit on the top of the eyelid, too, and let it soak in. And once you get that done... And this is a kicker here. I never would have believed this until I tried it. And it works. Believe me, you'll love this. Take the Behold Setting Spray by Unique and spray it on your face and let it dry. Then you take their, fa their um, primer. They have three primers. This is a hydrating face primer that I use. They have a matte uh, primer and they have one for regular skin. You put all, you put this on and let it sit for three to five minutes. The longer the better. I would recommend the five, but all at least three of it. And then after you let that set for three to five minutes, you go back in. And I know this seems strange, but you go back in with the Behold setting spray and spray it all over your face and let it set in and soak. Now, I have done this. I am done to this point right here. Everything. You don't want to sit here for five, six minutes watching me put this stuff on. Okay, now that it's all on and my face is primed, and you remember, there's a... A little saying, it's a shame or a crime not to prime. I mean, even a painter primes a wall before he paints it. So make sure you prime. It's very, very important to prime your face. 
And the foundation we're going to be using, and they do have four foundations. They have a spray foundation, a stick foundation. They have the BB Flawless. Now, this is absolutely awesome, too. We'll do this next, probably. But right now, we're going to do the Liquid Mineral Foundation by Unique. It's in the shade Taffeta. I recommend you shake it up and squeeze the topper several times. And that way you can blend it all in very well. And then I always like to take a Kabuki brush, and it's by Unique. And just takes about three to four drops on the brush. Just little drops on the brush is all you got to do. Sorry if my camera, I'm, <laughs> I promise you, this technology, this tripod, I'm having to use my tablet because my phone memory is full. I went to Verizon and they have to order it. It won't be in here until Wednesday and I've got to leave out Monday. So we're at the mercy of my tablet for a month. Anyway, you just take this and just dab it all over the face. This right here also, this is a mineral touch foundation, actually has an ingredient in it that helps build collagen in your skin. Now, for mature women like me, we need collagen built back up in our skin. And this is awesome. It is a, it is a medium coverage foundation. Now you can build on it. You can build it up to make it a full coverage if you want to put that much on. But I live here in Alabama and I stay mostly in Alabama to Texas and then up in the Midwest where I travel. But right now it's going to be 80 degrees today and we do not want a lot of product on our face. So that's going to be pretty much the end of the foundation. Now what I'm going to do is finish up with what I have on the brush here. I still got a little bit more, I notice. And then I like to take a sponge. Now when I use my sponges, I get them damp. Put them on the water, under the faucet, get them wet, and then wring them out. Squeeze them out. You don't want it dripping, but you still want it damp. You make sure you get your neck. Now I got a little hint here I heard. I got a hair. Um, if you wear your hair back or you got short hair that exposes your ears, you want to dab this on the ears as well. Especially if you're having pictures taken because they say the glare off of the earlobes in the corner of the ear right here leaves bad marks on pictures, which I very rarely wear my hair back. Okay, now I'm taking a sponge and just sponging it, and it's basically just like pushing the product down on the skin. And again, I want to apologize for the lighting in here. I am in my closet. <laughs> My daughter remodeled my closet a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It's a pretty good size walk-in closet, and she built a vanity at the end of the closet for me. I love it. I mean, I'm just blown away with what she's able to accomplish, and her talents in construction is just mind-blowing. Anyway, um, I, would get, I would love to have this vanity in the truck. It would make doing this a whole lot easier because most of the makeup tutorials I'm going to be doing are going to be in the truck. I will probably will only be doing about one a month at home, but my goal is to do one a week. So that means two to three of, of them a month are going to be in the truck, if not more. If Laura's willing, maybe I can do more. And um, then I'll do, you know, the one at home. All right, now you get it all pushed in really well. Then we are going to go to our concealer. And they've got an awesome, everything is awesome. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's just the best makeup I have ever tried in my life. And being right at 62, I've tried a lot. <laughs> this right here is the color of Lavora for me. 
and it's like a shade lighter than the taffeta. And um, you really don't have to shake it up. I just have a habit of shaking stuff up before I open them. Now, I'm going to give you a little word of advice here for mature women. Younger women, when they put concealers on, they'll usually do it in a triangular effect like this, all the way down. All right, that elongates your face. It makes the face a little bit longer looking, which most girls like that. But as we age, gravity droops everything down anyway. So we really don't want anything pulling us down. And so we're trying to deceive Mother Nature here. So what you want to do is only put like a dab, a small amount. You don't want a lot because if you have fine lines and wrinkles around your eyes, this is going to enhance that if you put too much product on. And it don't take much. It really doesn't. So I put like one right there and then I got it on the corner of my nose. I put it down my frown line. Now you got to work quick on this because this concealer sets fast. And that's the reason why I'm only doing one side at a time. And, I, and just lightly push it in with your damp sponge. And you will see. Sorry if I'm getting too close. I have to look at the other mirror. Now you got to overlook. I got swollen eyes bad. I did not have a chance to um, ice them down this morning. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I cooked a lot this morning. We're having church. It's, we have uh, lunch after church. And so I got up this morning and made a banana pudding, uh, three cheese pasta bake, garlic bread. So anyway, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I sure can. This side's got the concealer on it. This side does not yet. You can see the dark ring here. This right here. I, it's just awesome. It is absolutely awesome the way it's covering it up. Some women will also put concealer down the bridge of the nose. I do that just very little. Maybe right there. And then we'll go ahead and do this side. I don't mark my face up a lot because, like I said, this right here where it dries quickly and sets in and you want to uh, get it pressed in the skin before it dries. It covers up blemishes, by the way, if you have acne scarring or any type of scarring, it will diminish it greatly. Age spots, which I've been kind of blessed so far, I haven't had too many of them. Freckles, I've had a lot of them though. <laughs> I've got a lot of childhood freckles. And when more I'm out in the sun, the more they enhance themselves. Okay, then you just, whatever you got left on the sponge, you dab it around. And I will also let you know that some women actually use the concealer as a foundation. Especially if they want a lot of coverage. And i give you a little hint too. The shade of foundation that you wear in the fall and the winter may change color-wise for what you wear in the summer and the spring because if you're out in the sun, you know, you get a little tan. So another little trick is that you can blend a couple of colors that you already have on hand so you don't have to buy a lot of product. It's just a little thing that you can do to save some money, and I'm all for trying to save money, so if I can save you any, that's what I'm going to do. That's definitely my key. All right, this next technique, I just found out about how to do this about six, seven months ago. Apparently, it's a new thing, and I'm sure a lot of the younger generation knows about it, and it's called baking. And the idea is you take a translucent powder, and you put it over the area. Now, if you got if you're, if you're oily skin, young skin, you can probably put this on a sponge and dab it. But I have a mature skin, somewhat dry. I use a brush because I don't want a great deal of it on there. And just dab it on the areas that you put the concealer. And what this is doing is setting the concealer. 
You know what, right now it looks like it's really washing me out, making me look really pale. That's what it's supposed to do for a moment. And then you take a fan brush and then you just sweep away any of the excess powder left on there. And that helps set that foundation really well. Makes it look a little brighter. Especially if, if your concealer may not be quite as um, light as you would like. This would lighten it up. I don't really like a real light concealer because I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look painted. I want that natural look to come through. So I don't mind my freckles showing because that's natural. I, that's, I just want it to be smooth. Trying to make it look as smooth as possible. All right, the next product, they just come out with this a couple of, about, about a month ago, I guess. It's the Unique New Pressing Powder. It is almost like a foundation in itself. It is smooth and it's creamy. Oh my gosh, it just blends in so well with your, just with the makeup you've already got on. It's also in the shade Taffeta, the same shade as my found liquid foundation. And just push my brush and swirl it around and I'll take it and swirl it around in the mirror a little bit to get the excess off because I don't want to overdo it and just pat it around the area especially the areas that I did not bake that I did not put the translucent powder in and make sure you get your neck and if you are wearing I'm wearing a little bit of a v-neck you probably can't see it, but um, I'm wearing a v-neck dress, and so I'm also doing the chest area. So, um, you get everything, and it blends in quite well. And ladies, if um, you need a color match for me, if you're not sure the, of the shade you need, all I need you to do is send me a picture of your face facing a window with no makeup please and also please no mask or sunglasses or anything such as that um, that way I can see your undertones of your skin if I need to and also need you to tell me whether you're dry skin oily skin or a combination skin and that way if I see your undertones I can tell if you're warm tone or if you're cool tone and I can pretty much match up your foundation by that picture um, I know right now if you're it, it, also, I'll tell you what, if you send me the picture in the description of the picture when you tell me whether you're oily or, or dry, also put on there if you've been exposed to the sun a lot lately. So, because if you're tanned, that's not really your true color. So it gives me a hint on what to do. Um, but if you need any help, please, please, I beg you, please reach out to me. You can do it through Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube. Um, Facebook probably would be the easiest one. That's the one I seem to monitor the most because it's the quickest. But I would be glad to help you in any way I possibly can. All right, our next step is contouring, which I didn't do much of this when I was younger. Um, but I see now the benefit of doing it. And um, it, I do it all the time now. I just, I don't use a stick you can use a stick contour. Um, you want to go the dark, dark shade of your, you know, darker than your skin tone, much darker. And the rule of thumb is to start from the top of your ear and go down this way. And so what I do is I take my brush and I'll squeeze it to thin it out a little bit. And then I'll just lightly go. And you see, you can see there, I've already got a line going right there. You want to go, just, they say about three fingers is about as long as you want to go, but you're headed toward the corner of the mouth, but only three fingers. All right, once you get a line established right there, you just start to blend it in. I put the brush sideways like this and kind of blend it in like that. All right, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Start from the top of the ear and just go downward. And then once you start to get a line established right here then you start to you just blend it in just lightly 
the, the worst thing that we can do when we apply makeup is have a heavy hand. And I learned, I had to learn that the hard way. You don't want a heavy hand on doing anything. You want it to be light. Uh, a lot of times it's probably better when you come like to using a pressed powder or a contouring to t hold the brush from the back. That way you don't put a lot of pressure on it. Now, one, now if you got to squeeze it, you know, like I do right here, you got to hold it here. But once you get that done, just trying to grab it from the back and just do a circular motion to blending it in right here. All right. And then... Here's another kicker too. Um, rule of thumb is if you have three fingers width right here in the forehead from the top of your hairline to the top of the eyebrows, you take your contour and you just right here a dab above the right eye and then the dab over here in the corner on the left eye. All right, now if you can take four fingers, which I cannot, but if you can, if you got that wide of a forehead, you can contour all the way across. But if you've only can do two fingers or less, they say do not contour the forehead at all. All right. And then the next thing I want to contour is the jawline. Now this is to camouflage your turkey neck if you have one. And I've got a small one. And always try to go down right through here. And what contouring does is kind of hide areas. Then I always go down the bridge of my nose right here. And it's funny, ladies. I do not understand <laughs> for the life of me. Why is it your nose gets bigger as you get older, but your eyes get smaller? You know, that's a cruel joke. Mother Nature plays on us. <laughs> now, if you put it on a little bit too heavy or you don't like the looks of it, take another brush, a clean brush, dry, nothing on it, and just kind of go through it like that. You know, whatever you're not happy with, just rub it in a little bit more, and it will blend in good. See, so don't be afraid of it. You, you know, there's nothing you can't fix. All right, now my next step is the blush. Always want to blush. And I like a peachy pink color blush. It's my skin tone really looks good on that. <clears throat> now, <laughs> this is another thing for mature skin. They'll tell you to put it on the apple of the cheek. All right, well, when you're 20, your apple is up here. But when you're in your 60s, your apple falls down here. <laughs> Again, everything falls as you get older. So that rule of thumb really doesn't apply for mature women. So the best thing to do is to take an angled brush, blusher brush, and start right here, right under the, the uh, bone, your eye socket right here, and just dab it right above your contour of your... Um, that you blend in right there. Okay, yeah. So you blend it in. And again, you can take... I always go up the side of my hairline right here, just a little bit. See how pretty and glowy that looks? And again, if you're not happy with the contouring, which it does seem a little dark to me, just go right in, and you can blend it in. And then you can go back with the blush if you need more. And the same thing on the other side. Go right up under that your eye socket and keep it up high. If you, if you go down low, it's going to drag. It will drag that look down. And you don't want that if you're a mature person. You want, you want a youthful look. And I always do right down the bridge of the nose, just, just a light, any cupid's bow right here. Not much. Some people even do a little bit of dab on the forehead. You know, that's preference if you prefer to do that. But I guess the goal is, is to really to look like you got a sun kiss look about you. All right, now... I do this a little bit, not a lot, 
I'm getting ready to go to church, so I um, will do a little of it. It is a little luminizer, and I don't do it often. You know, it depends on if I'm in the mood to luminize. <laughs> but I take it and just go, just dab it real lightly right there. You see you got a little bit of glow, a little bit of a shimmer. It's, it makes it look, look like a little dewy effect on it. And you could still, again, go down the nose just a little bit in the Cupid's bow right there. And, um, ladies, that is pretty much the look of the foundation. Um, but we're not finished. <laughs> we're not finished until we do the Behold Setting Spray. One more time. Just spray it on. And that way it's going to set your makeup. And sometimes I like to speed up the process. And I am so unorganized. Yesterday, it was a nightmare. I um, had everything laid out how I wanted to do it, and then we started to record on my phone, and then after two to three minutes of my phone, it quit recording. It took up, all, I thought I had more memory space left. I knew I was getting low, um, but it wouldn't record. So I had to get the tablet, and then when I got the tablet, everything was chaotic. I had to move everything. I couldn't find stuff. So it, oh my gosh, I guess it's just a blessing in disguise that maybe I did delete that video, <laughs> but I didn't mean to. I was highly upset, highly upset. All right, we're going to do the lips and uh, I don't have a lip liner by Unique yet. Um. This one I am actually using is Maybelline um, Autumn. No, let's see. I can't already read that. Uh, Almond Rose. That's what it is. Almond Rose. And... Uh, I'm not very happy with my lips at all at any given time because they're so thin. But um, Unique has got a lip plumper that I have not tried yet. I heard it was good. But they have lip butters. And they are absolutely fantastic. And that is what we're going to do shortly after I put my lipstick on. It's the Unique matted lipstick in the shade Easy Street. And they got the cutest little packaging for them. And I love the color because I love pink anyway. Pink is definitely my color. I was, um, mm, that's so creamy. I was watching a video the other day of a woman, an elder, um, mature woman. She uh, was recommending that when women use lip liners, that they don't line down in the corner of their lips. Because I'm sure you've all seen um, a mature woman that their lip liner and lipstick would cake at the corner of their mouth. And I'm going to keep that in mind and start doing it and checking it out, see how it is. Uh, because she says if you just take the lip liner, run it to the bottom of the lip, and stop about a quarter of an inch before you get to the end, and take it inward and do the same thing. Stop and run it inward and don't hit the corners at all. That it will stop that. So we will see. Now I'm using the lip butter. And see what the shade of this one is. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm not sure. Oh, excuse me. Quick getaway. Ah, oh, it's so creamy. And it hydrates. <laughs> it hydrates so well. There, we got it done, ladies. I hope 
I really do hope in some way I could help you. And I hope this video helps in some way. I got to do my hair right quick. I haven't, um, I just washed it and blow dried it. I haven't fixed it yet. Um, again, if I can help you in any way, please, please let me know. Um, I am on, like I said, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm doing YouTube videos. Most of them videos are going to be the life of a truck driver and my dog Skittles. I'm sure everybody has already seen. If you've seen my videos, you have seen Skittles. <laughs> she is, um, I, I couldn't live without her. Before I leave home, I will introduce you to the seven dogs that we have. We call them Motley Crew. And we got about 12, 13 feral cats outside. We got a new kitten. We got two cats I've noticed that have come up recently, and they're both pregnant. So we're about to probably have a couple of litter kittens. And I love animals. You know, I just, um, unfortunately, I can't be here with them all the time, very little. But um, we have them all on automatic feeders, and we got cameras everywhere. So we're watching them all the time. But ladies, I hope, I hope um, in some way this is, this helped you. I, um, I, I can't tell you how great this makeup really is. I love it. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of heavy foundation because I don't like that cakey look, but oh my gosh, this, it feels so good on the skin. It is absolutely awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> well, ladies, I hope Lord's willing, I hope this is a good one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And um, God bless you. And I'm be leaving out tomorrow. So I'll be back on the road. So you guys take care and have a great day. Bye.